Well, what's going on, everybody? Happy Friday afternoon. If you successfully made it through the week without dying, then congratulations. You get a couple days of rest and relaxation. If you don't work this weekend, that is. Uh, that is my goal, to get a little bit of rest going on. So let's go ahead and get into today's video, shall we? Um, I had a gentleman comment on my last video. I think it was my last video. It might have been the one before. Um, asking about installing fonts on Void Linux, um, specifically the TTF Liberation font. Now, installing font on just about any Linux distribution is pretty basic and uh, pretty much the same. Um, you can find some of them in the package managers uh, or package management system. You can find some in like the AUR and the void source packages um, and install them that way. But the way I like to install fonts is I like to find the ones I like, download them, and then put them where they need to be. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and launch it to, or a uh, web browser here. So we're going to launch Brave and then we are going to search for TTF liberation font. Now, we're going to look down here and we can see we have this GitHub um, repo of the liberation fonts. So let's go ahead and click on that. And you can see this has our liberation mono, liberation sans, and li liberation serif, all bold and italic and regular. So this has pretty much what we're going to need. Um, now what we're going to do is you go ahead and click on the code and then you can download the zip. Now I've already done this because I started this video prior to this and my dog started barking and making a bunch of noise so I had to start over. But I have this downloaded already. So let's go ahead and switch workspaces. Let's launch a terminal and let's cd into downloads. And we are going to clear the screen and we are going to zoom in. Now, if I do an ls in here, you can see I have that zip file right here, this liberation fonts TTF master. Now, what I've done is I've unzipped it here by using the unzip command and doing the liberation fonts master dot zip. Now, I'm not going to unzip it again, obviously, because I already have it. But now when you unzip that, um, let's go ahead and clear that. Um, and we do an ls and we have that liberation fonts. Now we can cd into liberation fonts master and do an ls and you can see we have all of those fonts right here, correct? Well, Linux, uh, your system stores fonts in a couple different places on your system. For system wide fonts, they're going to be in user share fonts and in uh, for specific users, they're going to be in home.local or home your username.local share fonts. I tend to keep all mine in the system-wide fonts directory because I'm the only one that uses this computer, so I don't really need to have separate fonts for different users. So basically what we're going to do is we are going to do a move command, and we're going to move these fonts where we need them to be. So like I said, I'm putting mine on my system-wide, so I'm going to do a sudo mv, and we are going to do liberation, and we're going to do a star because this is going to move everything in this directory that is liberation and whatever font it is. And we're going to take that and we're going to put it in user and we're going to put it in share fonts and it's going to go in TTF and then we are going to go ahead and hit enter. Oh, then it's going to say there is no such file or directory. So let's do an ls and you can see, oh, liberation. So it's got to be capitalized. So we are going to redo this command, excuse me, and we're going to come back over here. We're going to capitalize that and we are going to do there. Now we have no error. And now if I do an ls, you can see all these fonts are gone. So if I cd into, now if you wanted to do this for the user, you would actually just do sudo move. You wouldn't have to do the sudo, you could just do move. And instead of user share fonts TTF, you'd put it in home user dot local share fonts and then their font directory. But now that we've got that done, we're going to cd to user share fonts TTF and hit enter. And now we're going to do an ls and you can see right here, just I don't want all of them, but right here we have the liberation fonts right here. So now you can do an fc dash dash cache and do an FV and hit enter. And this is going to um, reconfigure your fonts cache and with those new fonts in there. And so we'll let that run for a second here and we'll clear the screen again. And now let's do a font preview and hit enter. And we can do liberation. And you can see we've got all the different fonts for liberation right here. And we can hit enter on that and you can see now that we have it installed on our system. Another way we can check if we go to another workspace here and let's go ahead and launch LibreOffice. 
launching LibreOffice, and if we open up just a random writer document here, a new one, we can come right here and we can see that, oh look, we have Liberation Serif right there, we have Liberation Sans, Liberation Mono. So we do have the Liberation fonts installed now, and everything is good to go. So that's basically the quick and easy way on how to install fonts in Linux. Um, now just bear in mind that some of the programs you use, like if it's a terminal and you're using terminal applications, um, some of the fonts aren't terminal friendly. Um, so just be aware of that, uh, but you can always just give them a try and see if the spacing and everything works out for you. If it does, great. Um, if not, then go ahead and have another try and see what happens. But that's kind of how we got uh, fonts installed on our system and how we go ahead and use them. Then if you want to change them, you just go to the font section of whatever program you're using and select the font from the menu. Um, so if I wanted to change my alacrity, then I would just come in here and now that I have it installed, I could uh, clear the screen, zoom in, let CD into alacrity and hit enter and we're going to vim into font.yaml and right now I have Cascadia Cove as my uh, font but if I wanted to have say Hermit if I just go in here and change this I could do Hermit nerd font and we write and you can see it automatically changes and now my um, standard font my regular font is Hermit um, if I wanted to undo that obviously we could do the U command and write and now it changes back and so you can just go through and change your programs like that. Now you can use a font config. Um, I don't use that. Um, I'm not real sure how to set one up. Um, I have Googled it and kind of looked around at them. Um, they're easy to find and you should be able to find out how to set them up real quick with Google, but um, I don't use one. So um, I don't use a system wide font. Um, I do have like on all my programs, um, my terminal programs, I'll use my font I have set on Alacrity. Um, now web browsers and stuff use whatever font I decide to use on those, just whatever one looks the best. So I kind of have different fonts going on in different places on my system. So I don't use a font config that actually configures my entire system to use the same font. Um, but all fonts are available to my entire system. So that being said, that's just kind of the quick and dirty way to do that. So hopefully this helped you out. Um, if it didn't, by all means, leave another comment and let me know what you meant or what you're talking about or if you had problems with it and it didn't work for you. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day um, and enjoy your uh, end of your Friday and your weekend. And I will try and get another video out this weekend because i got a couple other things I want to talk about. But um, if I don't, hey, you know I love you and you guys have a great weekend. Stay safe. God bless.